It's Bronny James, Isaiah Collier out of USC. Wendy, will Bronny be in a Lakers uniform on opening night, do you think? I expect him to be Malika. First off, the South Bay Lakers don't start till November. The Lakers start in October. And Rich Paul has said Bronny won't sign a two-way contract. So that means he's going to be an active NBA player on the roster. So, yeah, he'll be in uniform. Brian, thank you so Brian, very much. Let's JD, take a I listen to JJ to Reddick. Congrats, man. Uh, your hard work's paid off. You're going to have a long NBA career, and I can't wait to coach you, man. Congrats. Thank you. We'll see you soon, Bronny. The work begins. The work begins now joining NBA today. Our eyes and ears of all things Los Angeles Lakers, Dave McMenamin. So, Dave, what is next for both Bronny and the Lakers here? Yeah, Malik, uh, Bronny and Dalton Connect will report to Los Angeles early next week and be introduced as Lakers. And then a couple days after that, they're going up the coast to the California Classic. July 6th will be the Lakers' first game in that mini summer league before Vegas against the Kings. So that's most likely the first glimpse we get of Bronny James. Now, Rob Plink has had a lot of glimpses of Bronny James leading up to taking him with the number 55 pick. Malik, you remember after the Lakers beat the Indiana Pacers Saturday night in Las Vegas, there was an early tip off Sunday in Los Angeles for USC versus Long Beach State. It was Bronny James's debut as an NCAA collegiate athlete. Rob Plinkett made sure to be there. And when LeBron and Savannah got to the game, Rob was already in his courtside seat. And Rob told LeBron, I'm just here to show our support. And LeBron told Rob, you better be here to scout too. So we're talking months back <laughs> that Bronny's been on the Lakers radar when it comes to the draft. And listen, look back to 2019 the Lakers took Talon Horton Tucker after one year of college he was still a teenager in the second round they brought him into the program he spent a lot of time in the G League that year come the 2020 playoffs against the Houston Rockets there was Talon Horton Tucker making plays helping the Lakers beat the Rockets and route to the championships and of course Talon Horton Tucker was also a clutch sports athlete I think that's a pathway that you can look to for the Lakers to try to replicate with Bronny James as a way that they can get him going by the yeah. end of the year when it will matter most. Yeah, that's really interesting to look at Taylor Horton Tucker's pack path here as we bring in the rest of the panel. We only saw, though, Dave, Bronny play in 25 games for USC in a little bit more of a limited role. We got a bigger sample size when we looked at what he did at the Combine in Chicago. But, Perk, what do you expect his rookie season realistically to look like? I think he's going to spend some time in the G League, but I, I actually think Bronny is going to get some minutes for the Lakers this year. I mean, you think about it, you have LeBron James, who's one of the best teachers uh, in the game of basketball when it comes to a player being on the floor and his IQ. You have his uncle and Uncle Anthony Davis also on, the, uh, also on his team that's going to take him under his wing. And then you have J.J. Reddy. All three of those guys, they want Bronny to be successful. The one thing that we can't deny is that uh, Bronny James is a student of the game. With that being said, he's not going to have to do much being on the floor with LeBron James and Anthony Davis except be a star in his role. I think he's going to play some minutes this year, and I think they're going to be productive. Malika, he'll be a, like a lot of players who are taking 55th and make the NBA roster. He'll be a stay-ready player. That means mm. he'll be a guy who comes to the to the arena very early, plays in games uh, before before the uh, the NBA game actually happens. He's out there after practice. He's out there before practice. Um, this is what you this is when you develop your skills. The de he'll he'll be much more involved with the developmental coaches at the Lakers than he even will be with JJ Redick. That'll be his role. And the idea will be that by the time we get to February, March, that he will be a lot better player. He'll have reps under his belt, likely most of them in South Bay, but I'm sure he will get NBA time. And that's the, the, the process he'll be on. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's on that for several seasons. There are literally mm -hmm. dozens of players doing that every single night in the NBA, and I believe he'll be one of them. Dave, last word on this. Hey, Brian, think about the development. Yeah, think about the development from the moment the USC season ended to when Bronny showed back up uh, to the eyes and ears of scouts around the league in Chicago. His body was better. His shooting form was better. The results showed, and you give him another three, four months now before Lakers training camp 
we can only expect him to continue on that path. I'm not going to say in October, November, or December, he's going to be a rotation player for the Lakers. I don't think that's on anybody's radar. But the idea that come February through April, if he can have some spot minutes in games that matter, I think that's a goal for everybody involved.